Whoa, this is the illusion reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth up here on Rainbow Mountain with a slightly crooked horizon, but what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? So I was thinking a lot about that video I made yesterday about communication. And in my world of, of sobriety and recovery, one of the tools we use, one of the uh, concepts that we evolve into is keeping our side of the street clean, keeping our yard clean. And, and because I have no control over anybody else's reality but my own. And I think part of the, uh, part of our human condition maybe is to look over into somebody else's yard or onto somebody else's side of the street and go, oh, your yard's a mess. Your reality's a mess. Your life's a mess. You should do this. You should do that. You need to do these things a certain way from how I see you should do it while wow my whole world's a disaster while well, my yard's a mess while well, the way I do things is totally dysfunctional and what I was thinking about was how hard it is to maintain a harmonious and balanced existence in your life like I look at my own life right now like it's it's been tough recently you know being married and trying to communicate and, and be on the same page, that evolves. And sometimes you're not on the same page. You're in different like spaces and miscommunication occurs and that can lead to conflict, which leads to more miscommunication and ultimately disharmony. And what I've learned is as much as I want to try to change the other person's interaction with me or the world around me or their world, I can't do anything about them. I have to fully focus on what it is about me that is my role in any situation. Because at the heart of it, I'm the only common denominator in my experience here on Spaceship Earth. There's no one else to blame but me. And so, I was thinking about how it is that people have the... Um, you can come hang out with me while I make this video or but but I'm, I'm gonna be done here in a minute, Bert, okay? So you can either... Well, uh, you can come sit. You can come sit in my lap. You want to come sit in my lap, and and do this with me. Bring those pliers over here. So I was thinking about how people have time to go and make trouble out on the streets and get involved with this political bantering and all that stuff. When I spend, owl, you can you can come over here. Or you can go up on the deck. Oh, I got it. You don't want to walk in the in the stickers in the on the in the pokies. Oh, okay. Come on. Come here. Here. Okay. Are you gonna hang out with me and do this? Huh, a little, little, right inter here. little interruption, a little commercial break while you can look at the view behind me. So I was thinking about, I spend a majority of my reality trying to maintain balance and harmony in my own household, right? There's four of us and a cat. And at any given moment, any one of the five entities that is our household can be out of link, sync. All five of us can be out of sync. And within that is this communication thing that can get totally and stuff happens in life and 
one person wakes up grumpy, the other person doesn't, and then they make the it, boom, 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 right? So you spend this, this, this time in your own reality, in your own yard, on your own tr side of the street, trying to maintain balance and harmony. And it's not easy. I look at like my recent, my what's going on now is there's, there's full dis, disharmony, out of balance, communication breakdown. And being, un, if I was unself-aware, I might actually try to project that onto my outside world and be like, oh, instead of me fixing the world that is the one I inhabit, i.e. my family, my household, I'm going to go take it to the streets. I'm going to go point fingers at, at that guy or that girl or that human and be like, you're wrong. What you think's wrong I'm going to start telling you what you need to do to be right. And the only, and I, from what I, my analysis of this, if we look at like what's going on in our society right now, is A, if you're spending your time making your own household harmonious, you're not going to be putting that energy into messing with other people out on the streets, out in the other world. And B, if you're spending your time doing that, by osmosis, it's gonna be applied to the outside world, to the streets, to the, to the interaction with the random human beings. Because you can't, you can't live in, in, in harmony inside your house and disharmony outside of your house. But you can live in disharmony inside your house and disharmony outside of your house. You, you see what I'm getting at here? And I've been anal trying to figure out like where all these people are getting all this time to, to throw punches at each other and, 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 and get crazy and call for violence and, and, and send out these crazy tweets and Facebook posts and all this kind of stuff. I don't. I don't particularly like to involve myself with anymore, but I see it because I, I hear the reverberations of it. And, and I know that there's this insanity going out on, especially in the region called the United States of America. And I was thinking about what that's all about. And I, and the more and more I realized that I have to spend most of my energy trying to make a happy household for my child, my child, my stepdaughter, and my wife and my cat and my plants I'm growing. And that's a challenge. And if I were to ignore that challenge and that, that need for balance and harmony and pretend that it's not my priority, I could apply all that crazy energy to the outside world. So what I'm getting at no, is... No, 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 one get that pokey off your foot. Oh, get the pokey off my foot? Is that... I want to. I've been trying to figure out why... I want to. I got it off my foot. See? Thank you for looking out for me, bird. I've been realizing that all these people... I don't know what they're up to, but I would... I guess what I'm getting at is if they were spending the time making sure that their own life was harmonious and joyous and free, they wouldn't have the space nor the inclination to incite violence on other people for low-hanging political fruit. And, and... We're going to go ride your bike as soon as I'm down here. We're going to go down and ride in the canyon down there. And so, I guess what I'm getting at ultimately is that there's real issues going on. Like, you know, you could you you can get crazy about Monsanto and Bayer and what's going on in the EPA and all this kind of stuff, which is... You should be. You should absolutely be concerned about the food that's going into your your children and your family and your neighbors. And yet, 
I don't see any way to solve that problem with conflict and violence and disharmony. It seems to me, and I, and I talk about it a lot in this channel and I live it my own experience, that's why I've been quiet for a while, is like, I, gotta, I can't sit here and tell you what to do if I'm not trying to figure out what to do for my own reality. My own reality's been out of sync and I gotta figure out how to get it back into sync. And that's why I've been making these videos about communication because it all stems from how we communicate with one another. And if we communicate with negative energy, we're gonna get negative energy back. And if we communicate from a place of you are the problem, we're not gonna solve the problem. We have to communicate from the place of, I am the root of the disharmony, so what is it about myself that I can change to make this situation more harmonious? And I think that's what's going on out here on the streets of North America especially, is, is people that refuse to look at the garbage in their own backyard, refuse to look at the garbage on their side of the street, and are busy pointing out the garbage in everybody else's yard, because if you're busy like just on the metaphor of it, if you're busy cleaning up your own backyard and your head's down and you're organizing all your own stuff, how can you see into somebody else's yard and tell them that their yard's messy, right? And, and I think it's like, again, with this yard metaphor analogy is when somebody in a neighborhood begins to clean up their house, let's say you live in a blighted neighborhood, when you begin to clean up your house and clean up your property, it inspires other people to have to clean up theirs because now they're looking across the street and they're like, wow, look at that person's got a nice, clean, organized, tidy yard. Maybe I need to look at my own yard. And I guess that's where I'm getting at is if we hope to solve any of these problems, then maybe we need to start leading by example and I'm really talking to these people with the masks on their face man and the t-shirts over their faces like if you really want to change the system change yourself man because beating up some dude at a prayer vigil with an American flag isn't going to solve the problem it's going to make your problem even more profound because now you have guilt and shame when you truly realize what you've done. And that guilt and shame can be a self-perpetuating loop of negative interaction where like now, how are you gonna solve this problem when you've blown your opportunity to, to shed light and, and high frequencies? No, I wanna go, go on that chair. You wanna switch chairs? Do you wanna walk over there by yourself? No, cat, there's pokies. Well, I don't know if I got my message across there, but we're going to go ride our bikes down in that canyon down there, and uh, we're going to work on our own harmony here on my household, and we're going to try to radiate that lessons and that information out into the world because that's what I see as the problem is, is nobody's cleaning up their own living room in their own yard and being like, wait a minute, man. I gotta tell, I gotta, I gotta do right by myself first before I try to do, tell anybody else what to do. And I think if everybody was busy taking care of their own issues by osmosis, we wouldn't have time for conflict and ultimately we would solve the problem. I think that's really the problem on Spaceship Earth is Everybody worrying about everybody else's dirty yards. Chairs. You want to switch chairs? Okay, this is the illusion and Owl signing off from Rainbow Mountain here on Spaceship Earth. And uh, <laughs> links down below if you want to get some t-shirts and stickers. What do you say, Bird? Oh, he's got, uh, who, uh, who? who's on your t-shirt? Daddy. You like your daddy t-shirts? Yeah. yeah. I want to go on, on <laughs> Okay, we're signing off.